Hello and welcome back. I'm Steph Sabraud, joined by Andrew Flash Gordon. What's up? And we have made it to our Rambo First Blood Part 2 reaction. We're really excited about Andrew. Had a fun fact he came in today. Yes. Well, when this is released, this won't be a fact. But as of today of this filming, this movie was released today in 1985. So I thought that was appropriate because we were filming it today. Right. We're just in tune with Stallone and Rambo and all that. It's curious because I wonder what if they knew there was going to be a sequel because it ends in this way where you're like, oh, there's not going to be a sequel unless you obviously know the franchise is made many sequels yeah. nonetheless we are excited to get into it uh since you're on youtube you will see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a certain amount of picture in picture but if you want to watch this entire movie with us no cuts no interruptions you can do that one of two ways you can either become a patron at patreon.com slash jabby or a member on this youtube channel right here and if you're already a member a patron thank you we appreciate you all you'll need today is your own version of the film we're watching it on max because i think <laughs> As of today, that's what it's going to be called, too. So Great we're watching it on Max. That's not a person. That is a streaming service. So wherever you watch it, you'll put it up on a screen side by side with us. And then it's like we're all watching this movie together, which is awesome. Before we jump in, make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up if you don't want me to send Rambo after you. Mwahaha. Just kidding. I wish I was friends with Rambo for moments like that. Rambo! Hello, Rambo. No. Let's go. Did go to jail after all. The picture quality is already better. Yeah, you could tell the last film was very smaller budget. John, I told you that I'd help you when I could. You interested? You can't possibly want to stay here for another five years. In here, at least I know where I stand. Just hear me out first. The covert operations being geared up in the Far East. Oh! Your name was dug out by the computer as one of three most able to complete the mission. Mm. The algorithm caught you. <laughs> Do we get to win this time? This time it's up to you. This is Marshal Murdoch. He's in charge of special operations from Washington. Been looking forward to meeting you. How was your trip? No problems? No, not except for the damn heat, right? felt anything like it yeah that humidity get you every time now if there's any of our men at this pow target camp you're to confirm their presence by taking photographs under no circumstances are you to engage the enemy ah, i doubt that's gonna happen rambo you can feel totally safe because we have the most advanced weapons in the world available to us i've always believed that the mind is the best weapon times change for some people <laughs> i'm sure he's still not unbalanced from the war can't afford to have anybody involved in this mission. You might crack under pressure in that hell. What you choose to call hell, he goes home. <laughs> should have been like, you should have seen the last town that uh, tried right. to lock him up. <laughs> yeah. Muscle shot. What's he up to? What's the T? Five seconds. Four. What? Shit, what's happening? The turbulence! He hung up! Raj. Wiper, cut him loose! I can't free him! You just get a knife and cut it. He's gonna do it himself. He's cutting away his equipment! Oh my god, his equipment. Oh, Oh, he's no. gonna jump after the parachute? Oh, his equipment, though. But his equipment's yeah. gone. Yeah, I thought that was his parachute that he threw out. Oh. Pretty sure this actress was in Double Dragon. Uh, She's gorgeous. Oh, she's one of his, uh, yeah. How come you're so late? Got hung up. Literally. I got hung up. <laughs> What about patrol boats? Antoine Hong. Oh! Damn. It's quite a solution. See? Can't empty. Move closer. Be careful. It's not empty, he Be knows. Be careful. It's like a girl who from village. <laughs> Let's not beat around the bush and say what she is. What is it? A boat. No sound. 
Oh, wow. Yikes. Nice. Gonna see some bone arrow deaths. Or does he have to one by one get them out? Don't do. Oh, the body count has started. We're at one. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Those bone arrows. That's a good one. Oh no. Oh, don't. Oh my god! Wow. Let's go. <laughs> it's he like is a tallied up quickly. Yeah, it was like a Friday the 13th type kill. I love it. This movie's definitely more graphic than the first one. You're too late. Sold out. Oh, you are going to so regret that. Uh oh. Period. Oh! Oh! Damn! Oh! <laughs> you guys all got to go. Yeah. Wow. This is our boat now. I love the squibs that come off with the gunshots. So 80s, I love it. Jump! Come on! Yeah, just let Ram Rambo handle this. He's got it. He's just gonna wait for you guys to get close enough. Doesn't he have the rocket launcher too? Sayonara. Okay, I think we've lost count now. <laughs> yeah, we're at like 10, I think. Oh. Wait, that guy survived all the gunshot blasts? Right. The thing? <laughs> Stick him with that knife. Oh. You gotta go, my guy. Oh, boy. This film is not holding back, and I'm loving it. Quite a dive. I'm sure jumping in that water in that heat and humidity probably felt amazing. Bring you in the command. Bravo spawn one of ours. Mr. Murdoch, Dragonfly reports the ground crew has what appears to be an American POW with him. What did you say? Yeah. The station's on condition Bravo. Myers, Harrison, everybody, yeah! Wait, what? What? Dragonfly, this is Coach One. This is an Alpha Kilo Victor Command priority. They're not gonna leave them, are they? What? What? Uh, Are you guys for real? It literally takes 20 seconds to do. Wait, are you guys serious? There's conspiracy abroad. Watch up! Are you insane? Oh, damn. You are so going to regret that. People are so vulgar in their methods. They lack compassion. Ow. To me, you are a comrade, similar to myself, just opposed by an act of fate. Uh -oh. oh, God. Putting it on there? Jeez. 
First of all, I wish you to radio your headquarters and say that you have been captured and condemned for espionage activities. Oh. <laughs> you wish to test your strength. Good. Lucian. Damn. Oh, is that the the woman uh, his the woman we know that was partnering with him from Double Dragon? Yeah, I Pret think so. Yeah. <laughs> smart, smart disguise. He's in the most insane shape. It's crazy. Yikes. Oh. Oh. Put it in his eye. Oh, no. Not the eye. Please, not the eye. Your life means nothing. Come on, girly. Come. Thus, don't tell them anything. You will talk. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yes. What you not a show? His compassion can be a strength, Steph, but also a weakness. Mm. Don't. I feel like they're gonna kill him right after he does it anyways. We read you, Lone Wolf. What is your position? Over. I say again, what is your position? Over. <laughs> John, come in. Murdoch. He's here. Oh, you are so done for, dude, when he gets back. Where are you? Give us your position and we'll come to pick you up. Murdoch. I'm coming to get you. Oh! Oh! Yes! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Wait, where's the guy who was uh, trapped? The POW. I know, you're right. Nice. Murdoch, I'm coming to get you. Oh, God, that hurts. Ow. Oh, my God. My fingers are hurting just from watching. Ugh. Are we going to get the homies? I think the plan is let's kill everyone and then we'll... We'll, we'll save them. Yeah. Yikes. You do now. Try and get across through Thailand? Yeah. Then go America? Yeah. You take me with you? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, girly. I really hope she doesn't get killed. If she does, all hell's going to break loose. Yeah, it already is. No! No! What? I can't. Oh, you all Can are... Rambo have no happiness? <clears throat> this is so unfair. Y'all are so dead. You... No. Oh. I want the rescue team ready to go in one hour. I want him placed under arrest. He's not to leave the base. <gasps> he never had a chance, did he? Like you said, Colonel, he went home. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, he's wearing her thing. Oh. That's, I love that. There's that Rambo shot. 
damn, not an inch of fat on that body. Yeah, body fat 0.0. <laughs> He's just eating, like, raw meat every day. <laughs> Oh, boy. Sick. Oh. Like you, have you heard Rambo? Oh, Oh, my shit. God. That is great. Oh. Amazing. Uh, come on, camo. like such a perfect environment for him to attack. Uh oh, the chicken looks like it didn't make it. <laughs> oh no. Maybe he'll eat it too so it won't go to waste. I guess, yeah. It's still a poor chicken. <laughs> Goodbye, boys. Oh, did he put it all around? Yeah. yeah. He definitely trapped their asses. Oh my god, he doesn't even give a shit. He's like, shoot, try to aim at me. Oh, is that the exploding one? <laughs> ah. Yeah, later, partner. Sorry, my guy, there's nowhere to run. This idiot. Oh! Holy oh my shit. God. That is a uh, total disintegration. <laughs> ah. It's the Russians. The Russians. The Russians. They didn't have any more of those exploding arrows. Oh no. That's uh, quite a big explosion about to happen. This is really shot well, actually. Oh, yeah, they went, like, they went all out on the action in this Yeah. Film. Explosions, all the action. That's, like, real. The squib work. I'm sure there were plenty of challenges in filming There's the first so film, many, but yeah. this film looks on just another level. Whoa! Oh my god, this is awesome! In the helicopter while it's flying. I love it. That's a big guy. Yeah. You didn't really get to see his size too much in Lionheart with John claude Van Damme. In this movie, you get to see it. It's Geronimo! You and me, pilot! He said bye. Yeah, he's like. And he knows how to fly a plane. I love it. Love it. Wow. Amazing. Incredible. Yeah. Amazing. So good. This is so my dad's type of movie. Kill all the bad guys, as he calls it. <laughs> you uh, need, definitely need to watch Commando. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> that face is amazing when he gets the machine gun. So good. Oh. Oh my gosh. They're like gonna tell everyone, uh, this dude literally decimated every single one of them. <laughs> like, truly an Avenger. Yeah. This guy came back. On the helicopter. To the chopper! No, 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 no. 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 Oh, Rambo! No. Oh, Murdoch. Oh, my God. I, wi I wish I could say, Murdoch, I feel bad for you for whatever he does to you, but I don't. I don't. Oh, oh the shit. bad Russian. Damn. Oh, no. I was wondering what happened to him. We got a helicopter standoff. Oh, no. That is one heavily armed helicopter. 
can someone help Rambo out? I agree with you. I think a lot of them are just not the mental or physical condition to... I know, I know. I'm asking a lot of tortured soldiers <laughs> for a year. What's the plan, Rambo? behind him? I think so. Oh. Rocket launcher? Yeah. Okay, gags up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah! Yes! Love it. That was a good love plan. It. Good plan. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, I'm so excited to see Rambo back with Murdoch. It's an interesting prospect, though. Oh, oh my God. Murdoch. <laughs> he lit. Oh, right. Cocksucker. Yeah. Cobra Kai never dies. Oh, Murdoch. I'm shocked you didn't run, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I don't make the orders. I take them just like you. Oh. <laughs> He's not going to do it. No. Mission accomplished. Right next to his head. Yeah. That's just Rambo, yeah. You know there's more men out there. Find them. Or I'll find you. <laughs> okay. You can't keep running, John. You're free now. Come back with us. Dude, let this man have some peace. My friends died here. Part of me died here. Mmm. I want. What they want for our country to love us as much as we love it. Mm. I love it. Yeah, Julia Nixon did a great job too, the girl. Right. In terms of acting, I don't think any scene matched that final scene from the first film where Sylvester Stallone just put on an acting clinic. I mean, that was just, you know, just talking about like how Vietnam soldiers are just treated when they come home. I thought one of the best scenes I've ever seen from Sylvester Stallone in general. In regards to this film though, damn. The action in this movie was absolutely incredible. I thought... Obviously, you can tell the budget was definitely upped for this film after the success of the first film and just Sylvester Stallone's success from the time of the first film up until this point in 1984 or 85 when they were filming the movie. But I thought uh, James Cameron and Sylvester Stallone did such a great job with the screenplay, just making this character, not only the iconic look, of course, but just like putting him in situations where you really feel, even though you, you saw he was outnumbered and you're like, how is he doing it? It's like, my mind wasn't even there. It's like, no, even though he's the one out, that's outnumbered, I was like thinking in my head, no, 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 y'all are outnumbered. <laughs> I love how iconic this character is, even though we've only gotten to the second film, but it's just interesting the contrast between the first film where he was like really holding back in that movie and was just more about the tortured souls of, you know, the Vietnam soldiers, the way they're treated just uh you know how the, how they're perceived by people and then treated by like the sheriff how he hated him because of that he was involved in the vietnam war and then this film just an all-out action adventure but what did you think of the film i loved it it was so awesome it's such a great action film yeah. and like you were saying the believability of the character i would say that rambo and john wick are two the two that t <laughs> come to person. mind for me where it's like it shouldn't be believable but because of the writers and the way it's portrayed and the story that they choose to put forth it's somehow 
semi-grounded in a way mm. that other action heroes aren't because they're like allowed superpowers or whatever it is or you're kind of like oh okay that's outrageous like fast and furious type but it's fun because it's part of the movie rambo and john wick do this thing where i'm like that's because it's freaking rambo and john wick like good luck buddy uh, and with him it's like he finds these ways to be inventive and use his resources whether it be nature or the weapons he has or the camouflage to great. like maneuver through these seemingly impossible situations and he does it with dignity and respect for people and so yeah this movie is just it's awesome yeah it's just great yeah absolutely no he's a really compelling character i love too the way they show how intelligent he is i mean also too they didn't really go too much into it in terms of his ptsd they went into it more of the first film mm -hmm. but we have that from the first film so you can you know just tell that that's a, a little bit of a carryover just they didn't that. need to rehash yeah they didn't yeah. yeah they didn't need to rehash that because we know if you've seen the first film you know that but again just using his intelligence and his resources and again literally we talked about he's outnumbered but you feel like they're outnumbered i mean once we got to the, after his girlfriend had been killed he didn't use a gun he was using a bow and arrow it's the like, whole so time I, like, so good like what a prospect of james cameron and sylvester stallone say hey not only are we going to have him just like going after like hundreds of these guys whether it comes to the russians or the the you know the ties but He's just going to have a bow and arrow. Like, what's the believability going to be? And you, I thought you did a great job just pointing out, but because of, I mean, it really was grounded even in that aspect. Like, mm -hmm. I, I was buying it, like, totally. And I love that they chose to do that. Also, I love the cinematography in this film, especially on those helicopters, that helicopter, that was incredible. I can only awesome. imagine, you know, how difficult that must have been to film just in general, but the way they were using the camera to let us uh, as the audience just feel like we're right there with Rambo in that fight. I also, I love the score by Jerry Goldsmith. Mm -hmm. I loved it from the first film. I loved it in this one. The drama sequences, the action sequences just really did a good job of ramping up. Uh, just fantastic, iconic score. I uh, thought he's just such an, a great composer. Really, really amazing film. I love how they upped up the action too. Me Again, too. we know we, we said that he was holding back just big time because he didn't really want to kill anyone in the first film. He was, again, he was just trying to walk to a restaurant. He wanted he to just, have lunch. Yeah. <laughs> he was just like, dude, like, guys, leave me alone here. He's, yeah. there's a purpose here. He's trying to rescue POWs and also now he's taking revenge of what has happened uh, with his girlfriend so you know there's a purpose to what he's doing he's not just killing to kill yeah yeah the evolution of his character and how it, he got brought back into this space is uh, was also well done I was looking at the time here and there as a writer I like to see when like the inciting incident happens it's usually at the 20 minute mark that like launches the hero onto his or her adventure it, with these types of action movies especially like the older ones a lot of times I like, it's like the same things getting hit over and over again. And you're kind of like, okay, we know he's going to save the day. Like, let us just come back. And the first time he got the one guy, I was like, okay, we're only like 30 minutes in. What are they going to do for the next hour? Mm -hmm. And I thought that they just did a really good job of like picking up pieces of leading to this moment where he takes their own helicopter. And so the heightening of it all was just well done, which is no surprise to James Cameron or mm -hmm. Stallone with dealing with the both of their franchises that they've been involved with. Yeah, and also we met, we touched up on it a little bit during the reaction. Obviously she didn't survive in the film, but I thought, you know, the limited time that uh, her character was in the film, I thought James Cameron and Sylvester wrote a really compelling and interesting female character, which James Cameron clearly just excels at, just in general with all the films we've mentioned from Terminator to Aliens to Avatar and Titanic. He just understands how to write female characters the right way, in my opinion, the way I, I think are compelling and satisfactory. So, and I thought he did a, a great job here. And I mean, obviously I had a feeling that was gonna happen because uh, I guess sometimes the hero can't always get the happy no. ending. Again, just a really good job uh, from the script from Sylvester and James Cameron. I am kind of curious as the dynamic that was there because again, in 1984 or 85, when they were filming this, James Cameron wasn't at the power level that he's at <laughs> we're currently Jeez. and Sylvester Stallone clearly was both at both of them yeah, in different I mean, respects yeah and Sylvester Stallone at the time even now he's still at a huge power level but at the time he was clearly at a higher power level than James Cameron so I'm kind of curious the dynam that dynamic yeah the was dynamic like. was like because uh, I mean as we all know James Cameron like he's really good at what he does but he's also very intense too when it comes to you know working with him so I'm kind of curious how that was I'm sure many of you probably know if you've done the research on this film but uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
that's uh, it's so cool that they got him to work on the film. Totally, and it showed. Uh, I love this movie. I want to hear what y'all thought. Do you like this movie? Do you like it more or less than the uh, First Blood? And how does it compare to the rest of the franchise? Which I hope that we get to dive into if you guys are interested in seeing that and watching it along with us. Before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up. And respect our vets. Love our vets. Thank you so much for serving our country. We appreciate you and everyone who serves our country. Uh, I'm Steph Sabra. This is Andrew Flash Gordon. Much love.